Today we are at Clock House Farm in Kent, a soft fruit producer for M&S, growing strawberries, raspberries and blackberries. Clock House is one of the M&S indicator and innovation farms and this project is supporting work by the farm to establish wildflower areas near and within polytunnels. Encouraging crop beneficials for pollination and pest control is an integral part of the farming system for soft fruit growers and Clockhouse is keen to find out if wildflower establishment and the encouragement of wildflowers in existing grass margins is likely to enhance these services. Ferra Science are working with Clockhouse to sample insects in a different floral habitats around polytunnels and using meta barcoding techniques to analyse DNA from the insect samples. Hi, I'm uh, Andrew Barclay. I work at uh, Clockhouse Farm. Um, I'm propagation manager here, but I also look after the um, ecology and wildlife over the whole farm. Um, so at Clockhouse, we're keen to sort of look after wildlife and increase the levels of um, invertebrates across the farm. Um, and we're exploring different ways of doing this. So we've um, last year planted up uh, several flower meadows uh, using different seed mixtures. Um, and following on from the results of that this year, we've planted up more areas, um, both outside the polytunnels. Um, and we're looking at ways of including that within the polytunnels on the macros. Um, so through the project we're looking at uh, monitoring invertebrates um, through a few different areas. So like here we have a, a flower meadow that was established last year, so we're monitoring here. Um, we'll be monitoring a, a meadow that's been drilled in the spring this year um, and also looking at invertebrate levels in a range of different um, mown management strategies on the headlands. So looking at sort of cutting intervals on the headlands in Sort of grass areas. And we've also planted some in polytunnel uh, clover areas to look at sort of supporting invertebrates and also uh, improve water penetration in um, through the soil. We'll be monitoring invertebrates using water traps throughout um, this season. Okay, so um, we've we've got these water traps here, yellow colour to attract lots of invertebrates. So we're looking at um, trying to monitor populations of in flying invertebrates, some of which will be pollinators, others, others won't. But it gives us a, a really interesting um, snapshot of part of the invertebrate community associated um, with the habitats. So we've got a big tall pole here and we, we slot, on, slot on the bowl, if I can get it right. It sits there and we put uh, uh, just a mixture, mixture of water and washing up liquid in here, leave it for a few days and the invertebrates are attracted to the yellow colour uh, and they'll fly in and we get a sample in here and a few days later we ask the, the, the grower to come along and, and pick up the traps, filter them off uh, through, a, through a special filter paper so we've just got some invertebrate, an invertebrate sample. They parcel that up and pop, them, pop that in the post to us at Ferrer and my colleagues um, mush, mush, all of that, mush all of those organisms up and um, analyse the, the DNA uh, in those samples and, uh, and then we can understand, we identify the species in that soup of, of invertebrates and we can understand more about the communities that we're getting in the different habitats. <laughs>